I look into this present, and I wonder what's inside this present. Could it be a galaxy? Could there be something else on the other side of this present? Could there be another dimension? Well, we'll have to find out in the next episode of Let's Play uh, Time Travel, Episode 1, Series 5. <laughs> Uh, yeah, hey there guys, this is NDM here, bringing you another episode of Let's Play Mother 3. So, in the last episode, we got, uh, well, basically what we were doing, we was looking to, um, find out where Hanal has gone missing. Because apparently she's not at her house, so we have to go out and search for her. And I did a pretty bad job at the beginning of the last video, because, I, I don't know, I just thought my commentary was really bad, just like really slackish and not awesome. Well, it's not like... It wasn't to the best of my ability, if I must say so myself. It's just because, well, I didn't know where I was going, and if you don't know where you're going, you just don't really know what to talk about as such. And what's this thing? It's, that's not another flying mouse, is it? Squeak, squeak, squeak! The house I, se I was secretly living in burned down. <laughs> yeah, well, we destroyed you. You turned out to be some kind of mutant mouse that grew bug wings or something. Well, uh, that's what they said. They said they grew bug wings. And I think I'm not supposed to be going this way, because this is where Lighter and Fuel's house is, so... There's nothing beyond this point. Um, I guess we just came up to this area right here just to get the present and battle some enemies. Because <laughs> now we've got to battle this snake. God damn it. It's not as, uh, it's not as epic as the basilisk uh, in Pokemon. The friggin' Arbok. Charbok! Oh, we got ourselves 20 XP. I don't want to fight another baked potato. You can shove that baked potato up your ass. I don't want it. I don't need it. I just need to... Well, actually, I do need the XP, so... <laughs> uh, it's better to fight these enemies just in case we come up to some boss or something and then we get our asses completely trashed. And I don't want to take that risk, so... Because I imagine there probably will be a boss some point. And if I'm not high enough, <laughs> I'm not going to do very good in the battle, am I? So, it is best just to get all the EXP you can, just in case that there is a... that there does turn out to be something nasty up ahead. Um, I just want to avoid these snakes and things, because I want to try and get to the area that I want to get to, and then we'll start battling, battling things, because we haven't been this way before, I don't think. Or maybe we have, I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we got two, we got a baked potato and a snake, so we're gonna get double the EXP here from these, considering we're fighting two of them, or two, uh, well, a snake and a baked potato. And the baked potato is 42 EXP, the snake is 28 EXP, so we're gonna get a lot of EXP from this. Well, we should do anyway. Hopefully, enough to get Flint up a level at least, or Bonnie. Or bony, whatever you want, however you want to pronounce it. But yeah, we got Flint up to level 12, so that's good. I don't know if Bonnie. Oh yeah, uh, level 10. Right, so what's this thing? Is this like those hippies, or like yeah, like those hippies from Earthbound? The f this um, mother to a fire, then rain, and then children smiles. It will be all right. Reggie knows it. <laughs> Or Reggie, however you want. Yeah, like, there's all sorts of different pronunciations for these names. Like, I look at the name of the dog and I think Bonnie, because it's spelt B-O-N-E-Y. I don't know, it just sounded right. But Bonnie, there are different... <coughs> there are different ways you could say the word Bonnie. You could say it B-O-N-N-I-E or B-O-N-E-Y. But I think it is bony. Um, right, do I have any antidote? Because now my dog is poisoned, so I'm going to have to get you all patched up here, I'm afraid. Uh, that's the wrong uh, status screen. <laughs> um, antidote, use on bony. Alright. Yeah, wait, did I heal him? Because I don't know if he needs any healing. And if he did, yeah, uh, let me see. Um, hang on a second. What's this HP at? Does it say? No, does it say his current HP? That's kind of... Yeah. That doesn't help much. I need to know his current EXP, not how much EXP he can hold as max. 
Klaus is a troublemaker, so I bet he's hiding around here somewhere, watching us worry, our, watching wa watching us worry our heads off. But Lucas is a crybaby, so I bet he's probably in tears by now. <laughs> okay, all right. So I guess we're probably near the destination that we're supposed to be heading to because now we're getting hints and clues so we're obviously heading in somewhat the right direction here yeah oh crud yeah I knew I knew I had to heal you and now I don't have any revitalizing items that can revive you <coughs> oh god my throat <coughs> darn it I don't know what's going on today guys I woke up this I woke up about an hour ago and now my nose is just like really drippy and I can't stop sneezing and I got a whole I got a throat full of gunk and mucus and oh, it's just disgusting. Ugh. And I think oh, wait, 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 I'm not paying attention to my health meter. Um crap. 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 No, please don't kill me. Oh, thank god for that. Oh, that was that was a close one. Right, I need to get some nut bread down me. So yeah, no, please don't, no, no, you had to do 8 damage, you had to do 8 damage when I had 7 HP. <coughs> I had 7 HP and you did 8 of damage, why couldn't have you have done 6 of damage, not not 8, that was one above. And now we're back at the spring again, right, so you know what, I'll meet you guys back where I was, um, where I got defeated by that snake and that baked potato, so I'll see you all then. All right, welcome back. Okay, so we got um, back to where we was last time when we got killed by this stupid damn snake. So this damn snake is going to pay the price because I'm really mad and I want to kill it. I want to make it die. I want to make it burn. I want to make it, I don't know, suffer the utmost pain. So then I can laugh at its demise. <laughs> okay, it's a bit of an overreaction, but okay, it's now dead. So we got 28 XP, but I'm now poisoned, I believe. And the only problem, it, wait, no, I'm not poisoned. It says I'm okay. I think, oh, or oh, is that just indicating that I'm okay because I've got the ordinary hat equipped? I don't know, man. But the problem is, we don't have any antidote. So if I am poisoned, I'm kind of screwed. Yeah, I am poisoned. So I don't know how I'm gonna get myself healed up here because there's no place or anything. Unless I can get an antidote or find it in a present somewhere, which I highly doubt would happen. <laughs> Knowing my luck, so if I die, I die. Because there's no way I'm going to get myself healed up from this poison. Because we don't know any PSI or anything, so... Because we obviously don't have the ability to learn PSI, I don't think. The Mighty Bitey Snake. God, how many snakes are around this place? We need to get some, like... We need to get the exterminator here or something, because this place is infested with these. Thank God for that. We got ourselves an antidote. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Alright, so let's see... Oh, wait. I already had... What? Did I get two antidotes from that battle? Because that wasn't there before. <laughs> um, at least I don't think it was there before. I looked at my status screen, and I didn't see any antidotes in my menu screen. So, um... Well, what the hey, we've got two antidotes, so I'm not complaining about it. Yeah. Just in case we get poisoned again, which is most likely going to happen, because there's going to be a whole load of snakes up ahead, I betcha. I betcha. I betcha all my money. I already have an episode of Pokemon recorded. I didn't upload it yesterday, because I didn't really get the chance to. But today I'll get that uploaded um, along with this. So I'm not recording two videos today. I'm basically just recording this video. And I recorded Pokemon Fire Red on the 25th of February. This is now the 26th of February. So, I mean, the Pokemon that I recorded yesterday was supposed to go up with Animal Crossing. But I can get it up with this instead today. Because that seemed to make more sense. And I didn't really have the... I wanted to upload it this morning. But I didn't really have the time to upload it this morning. So... Yeah, because I had to get up and then get ready for college, so I didn't really have the time to do so. As much as I would like, as much as I would have liked to have done that, I couldn't. <laughs> so wait, can we give this to someone? Flint, 
Should that be on my equipment screen now? No, wait, mini charm. Wait, I think Bonnie actually deserves that more than anyone right now, if that's possible. Oh no, she's al she's already got a white collar on. Okay, so I'll just give that to Flint instead. Because I don't think Flint would like a white collar around him because he's not a dog. <laughs> I mean, that'd be kind of funny if you could actually do that. You probably can, but I don't think it will help you that much. Because it will be more um, efficient to use it with the dog instead of using it with Flint. Because it won't work as properly or work as good, I don't think. Right, so, yeah, let's save our game. Because we've come a very long way, I think we do deserve to make a save. Give my regards to the next frog you meet. Alright, so yeah, as I was just saying, that Pokemon... Yeah, I was meant... Um, because I want, if I had have uploaded the Pokemon this morning, that episode that I still have on my desktop, I would have recorded another Pokemon episode right after I recorded Mother 3, but... Um, I can't do so, because if I upload two Pokemon videos at once and one Mother 3 episode, it's just going to be three videos, and I don't very rarely upload three videos on my channel a day. So... See those claw marks? Those most certainly belong to Drago. But why would a Drago claw it at stuff like this enough to leave gashes ev in rock even? They're such peaceful creatures. Well, even the peaceful can be the most deadly. <laughs> I get the feeling something very bad is happening in to the forest. The people, the animals, and me. Right, so... These Dragos have somehow managed to climb up all this... Climb up to the top of the mountain here. And they've left this place in quite a disastrous mess, so, like, all these trees have been knocked down and everything. Unless that's something to do with the fire, I don't know. But I imagine, I think I have to run here, so I'm going to try this, because this always seems to work. Uh, no, oh, no, it didn't work this time. Hang on, can I knock the branch down? No, can I just walk around it? No. Um... Right, let's just talk to some people. Stop messing around. Because I bet that's what you're supposed to do. And I think it is, because we just triggered a cutscene. Look at that. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Just look at this, Flint. These, these, huge, these huge trees were snapped right in two. Well, those Dragos are very big beasts, I can tell you that much, because I saw them at the beginning of the game. How could such big trees get ripped down like this? There's one thing for sure, whatever did this, it wasn't human. And no, it wasn't me. <laughs> well, if it was you, I'd be very worried, because you'd have, like, superhero strength. <laughs> what do we do now? They have the path completely blocked. Actually, Hinara and the kids might still be stuck out there, because of all these knocked down trees blocking the way. Even if it's not the most direct path, we should look for another way around. It's probably best if we split up into a few groups. That guy looked like Jeff, I swear he did. I know, I just got a little glimpse at him, the what, the blonde one. Hey. Oh, we got some carpenters now. Have you found Hanara and the kids? Lighter? Are you sure you're in a good enough shape to be out here? Oh, it's lighter. <laughs> I'm always in good enough shape. Don't treat me like some injured clod. Clod. Or cod. Cod. Injured cod. Now, that doesn't make sense. Well... Never mind. Well, we'll take th care of things here. You keep pushing on ahead, Flint. But where am I supposed to go? There's nothing around this way. Just a huge mountain that I can't even scale because I don't have any claws or anything. I don't. Ha I don't have the power to. I'm not Spider-Man. Oh wait, Bonnie's got a sniff or something. What is it, boy? What is it? Oh, he's trying to climb up. <laughs> uh, you're not going to have very much of a good chance of trying to climb that thing. What is it, Bonnie? Flint, I think Bonnie found something. What did you find? Oh, he's got something. I don't know what it is. Oh, look up there. There's a scrap of cloth. Don't you see it? There's a bit of there's a, there's a bit red right over there. Bit of red right over there. Ah, uh, what could this be? I wonder. Oh, it's someone's. Clothing? Stuck on a tree branch. I don't know who that is. It could be Hanar's. What's it? Is is there something on top of this cliff? Old Man West, what are you doing here? 
Sorry to say, but there's nothing r a rickety old man can do to help us out. Hmm. Okay, so there's something on top of this cliff, and it looks to be like some sort of clothing. Uh, right, I'm going to speak to Bonnie because I can communicate with dogs, you see. They call me the Dog Whisperer instead of the Ghost Whisperer. Mr. Flint, where are you going? Bonnie is trying to tell us something. But what is he trying to tell us? He can't speak. He can't communicate. He doesn't have vocals. Well, he does have vocals, but he doesn't have, like, the same communication skills as we do. All the forest critters are acting weird, and I'm suddenly getting real bad vibes here. Oh no, I mean that in a good way. What I meant to say is I'm getting good bad vibes, if that makes sense. <laughs> thump, thump. Oh, I think I spoke to the right person here. Oh, Flint, don't tell me you in you intend to climb this cliff. I know you feel, but I know how you feel. But scaling this cliff face to face is just too dangerous. But you know, maybe my son could be of use. I don't know if it will help any, but let's get him here so he can try. Well, where is your son? I'll need to borrow Bonnie for a bit. No, you're not taking my dog away. No, I don't want to part ways with Bonnie. That means I'm gonna be on my own again. Bonnie, bring my son back here. My son' name is. Uh, well, I have to name his son. Um, okay, I didn't... <laughs> uh, what should we call him? Hmm. Ness? That, that, that'd that be kind of coincidental. Yeah, let's call him Ness. Even though he looks nothing like Ness, but still, it's interesting to put his grandson, or his son, not his grandson, his son. His name is Ness. Got that? Here, have a sniff of his sock. Gah! Ugh, sweaty socks! You g you're giving my dog sweaty socks? That's right, but d don't forget the smell now. <laughs> I don't think he will. Whimper. Gah! That's right, alright. What's that you put around his neck? I've tied a yellow ribbon for your co to your collar. Show him the ribbon and he'll know exactly what's going on. Now fetch. Woof woof, you can count on me. Oh, he's go he's going. Run like the wind. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. He's going. Wherever he's going, but he knows where he's going. I think. Well no, he stopped to have a little talk with people. <laughs> this is no time for Talking. We gotta look for the son of Lighter. Or well, no, not Lighter. The old man. Oh, typical. He's sleeping. Uh, sorry about that, guys. But yeah, Bonnie has now found um, that old man's grandson sleeping on his bed. What? Well, he's dragging him back, <laughs> and he's still snoozing. Probably dreaming about donuts, just like everyone else does. Including myself. Well, here he is. Ness, at long last, it's time to put the thief skills you've studied since childhood to the test. Now, show us your wool staple technique right here, right now. Yeah, do this shit right here, right now. There's no turning back. I did study that technique, but this is my first time using it for real. I hope this works. This area looks scrap scalable here. Oh, he's going to use his... Uh oh, that's cool. He's building us a ladder for us. So we can actually get to the top now. And there we go, we got ourselves a ladder so we can actually get to the top of this cliff now. Alright, that should do it. Flint, be careful coming up. I bet there's going to be some tough enemies up here, I can tell you that right now. I just don't know. I have a very bad feeling in the bottom of my stomach that there's just going to be some enemies up here that are going to be really tough. And that's just going to make me regret grinding for EXP back there. Looks like the rain stopped. I have a slight handicap, but I'll do my best. Please take me with you. Oh, you want to come with me? Well, okay. Ness joined your party. Well, you're more than welcome. More The more the merrier. 
because uh, I think I'm going to be struggling out here. I just don't know. What was the cave? Oh, that music. That sounds awesome. Uh, I don't know if I can go this way. Nope. Bonnie's got a feeling or something. Or do we have to check? Oh, wait. It's the same colour as an hour's dress. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Got a scrap of cloth. <laughs> so we got to give Hanawa her scrap of cloth back. <laughs> oh, we got a cave. Um, I don't know if I want to be going in there. So I'm just going to make a save first before I do. So let's make a save then. Level 13. So we're not going to struggle at this point or anything, I don't think. Well, like I say, I don't know because there could be some really nasty enemies. Hey, Flint, there's someone here. Oh no, it's the pig masks. What are you doing? Leave that poor deer or whatever it is alone. What are those? They are, are they human? Well, people refer to them as pig masks, so I don't know. They could be half man, half pig. What's what are they doing? Experimenting with a with a elk or something? Oh no, it's a bomb! It's a bomb switch. He's gonna blow it up. Again? No, you can't blow this area up. No, you're not doing it. You're not doing it. Ah! Stop torturing that poor elk, man. Didn't deserve that. Oh, what's going on? Uh, I don't like the look of this. Oh, we got ourselves a battle going on here. See, I told you. I knew there'd be some kind of boss battle, I imagine this is like, yeah, some kind of boss battle here. Um, thief tools, wall staple. Yeah, let's try use the wall staple on that thing. Uh, do I have it, like, Bonnie sti No, I didn't want to do that. You're not supposed to smell it. That's what you do when you're mating, or when you're using your mating call. Uh, was pinned down. Well, that's good. At least he can't move now. So that helps, I guess, in some sense. So we can, now we can just wail on it. Because what dogs do when they want to mate, they sniff the other, they sniff the female's butt crack, and that's how they indicate that they want to mate or something. Yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> but I imagine most of you already knew that. Anyway. Wow, this thing has a lot of HP. Um, and quite a lot of attack power. I don't know if I should be facing this just now, to be honest. Because uh, Ness is just about to die. <laughs> so, I think I should get you healed up. Because you're the one that's going to help me. Because you can pin this thing down with your wall staple. And the rest can just wail in and attack. But at least that keeps it pinned down. So then we can just, you know, like I say, attack it. Before it re... Um, before it escapes its escapes our wrath because we can just yeah broke free of the wall staples I use that again I guess and um no I don't yeah it's all right oh he's dead anyway that's good you won Victory dance! We got 112 EXP, which is awesome. So now we got. We should get a whole bunch of levels. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, only Bonnie leveled up. Oh well. At least we was able to beat it. What is this Babon switch all about? I don't know what this is. Let me just check it. Lying on the ground is a notebook with a pig nose like mask on the cover. Give it a read? Yeah, sure. We could probably find out some, like, secret information about these guys. The following is written in poor handwriting. <laughs> All the creatures around here are s around here suck. We need to make them cooler. So the th so the theme will be tougher, rougher, badder. We'll mix and mi we'll mix and match this and that to create whole new things no one's ever seen before. I dub it I dub it the fascinating Chimera project. Let's reconstruct and modify stuff slowly and steadily. Well, I can tell you something. Peter ain't gonna be too impressed about you guys. 
abusing animals like that. Like, that's not the right way to do- that's not the right thing to do. Animals are a part of nature, and nature is beautiful, and you shouldn't disrupt nature in its beautiful, uh, ways. You encountered a mischievous mole. Right, so, I don't know what this thing's doing, it looks like it's throwing a ball or something. <laughs> Uh, and now, this is now level 9. There's something really th funny, um, about moles. <laughs> uh, when I was at, um, like a castle, well, we went to go visit a castle. It was a ru it's a ruined castle, because there are loads of ruined castles around out in the countryside where I live. And we went to go visit one, and, there, and it had this field full of mole hills. And somehow, my brother and my dad managed to actually see a mole pop out of the mole hill, but I, I wasn't looking at the time, but they told me that they saw an actual mole stick its head above the mole hill, but I wasn't looking, and I didn't get to see it, sadly, because it's very rarely that you do get to see a mole actually stick its head above the ground, because 99.9% .9 of the time they're underground. The only time they ever need to obviously dig up the mole, or go up the mole hill is probably to get air or something. Because they are mammals like us, and they do need oxygen. Hop, save your game. And I imagine there's probably not a lot of oxygen underground, so that's why they need to like get up and have have a breathe of fresh air. Right, so you know what, guys? I think I've recorded enough here for Mother Three for today. So, so I'm gonna end off the video here and continue on in the next episode. So in the next video of Let's Play Mother Three, we shall be progressing on further and trying to find an hour. So until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching and goodbye.